As I've gotten older, I've been asking myself a lot of questions. Who am I? Why am I here? How should I live? Where am I going in life? And what the f is Bob Dylan doing in a Victoria's Secret ad? Bob Dylan's never been a stranger to pissing people off. Early in his career, he angered fans in 1965 by going electric during an appearance at the Newport Folk Festival. It was two years prior he walked off the Ed Sullivan show when the network wanted to censor his song, Talking John Birch Paranoid Blues. Then in 2004, he would strangely enough appear in a Victoria's Secret ad alongside one of his songs. It wasn't the first time Dylan had licensed his music to sell a commercial product, but it was the first time he appeared in an ad himself. His song, The Times They Are Changing, would appear in a Bank of Montreal ad a few years prior, and the song Forever Young would be licensed to Apple in the year 2000. Victoria's Secret had also used his music in some of their ads in 2003. The ad in which Dylan appeared was part of a 5, 30, and 60 second ad that was titled Angels in Venice that promoted the new Angels collection. Playing in the ad is Dylan's 1997 track, Lovesick. The cut would unearth an interview in which they pointed to a future collaboration with Dylan and Victoria's Secret. We're going to sell out to a commercial interest, which one would you choose? <laughs> Ladies' garments. <laughs> It was around the time of the ad's first airing that the San Francisco Chronicle reached out to Victoria's Secret about the ad and how it came together. Ed Razik, Victoria's Secret's creative director, told the Chronicle, We had done some spots last year with Dylan's music and they got a great response. So Victoria's Secret CEO asked, Do you think Dylan would do a commercial? It was a stunningly bold idea. We called his management, they found a two-day hole in his schedule, and off we went to Venice. Dylan's record label Columbia was more than happy to have their artist's music appear in the ad, and Razik would add, We think it's a great way to reach people with Bob's music. While Dylan wouldn't speak to the newspaper about his involvement, Razik would have his opinion about why he appeared in the ad, saying, I can't speak for his motivation, but it certainly wouldn't be commercial. Razik would claim that when the ad started airing, the company saw an immediate uptick in sales. The reaction from fans online was mixed. Today.com interviewed New York disc jockey Dennis Elsis, who played Dylan's music for over 30 years, who said, I would be hesitant to say it's awful or wonderful, it's just strange. In the years since the Victoria ad aired, Dylan has also appeared in an iPod and Cadillac commercial. I'm just waiting for someone to unearth an interview from decades ago where he said he would do a car commercial. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you again in Rock and Roll Stories. Stick